You know who always comes across well? People in reality shows. And I'll tell you who agrees with that statement. Drunk US comedian Doug Stanhope. I'm Doug Stanhope, and that's why I drink. At some point in the history of reality TV, they realized as long as we have one complete asshole on the show, people are gonna watch. I like to bring it back to Simon Cowell. Okay, we have a bunch of people who are gonna sing horrible songs so bad that you wouldn't even wanna hear them from the original artist. If fucking Daniel by Elton John came on my car stereo, I couldn't kick the fucking knob off of that quick enough to not listen to it. Why would I watch a show watching amateurs try Oh, wait, because you have a guy that will humiliate and berate them into tears afterwards. Okay, now I'm interested. I actually said to Paula when the song finished, what the hell are you supposed to say constructively after a performance like that? Whoopee. So once they have that formula set, they realize we can use this in any setting for a reality show, as long as there's an asshole. Okay, we got an American chopper. You're watching people build a motorcycle. How interesting can that be? But wait, the father is a shithead, and he's really mean to everybody. Let's tune in again and see how this goes. I'm gonna <laughs> bend it and see if I like it. What we should have done is move these out, jackass. When you watch reality shows, ask yourself, would I watch this in real life? Would I actually go to a pawn shop? <laughs> <laughs> stand around waiting for someone to cash in their valuables to pay their fucking cable bill or buy more fucking rock? No. But you would if you had added an imbecile like this fucking guy. I just need $150, that's it. Nothing. You can't do nothing. Nothing. Like, there's so many of them, they have to have depleted the supply of dicks on the planet. Like, a lot of the shows don't even have really good, strong dicks. People aren't dicky enough. You have to settle for a curmudgeon or a nitpicker. Storage Wars is a show where they bid on abandoned storage units. Their dick is a guy that outbids all the other people and jack up the price. And his signature dick move is when he bids, he'll go, yeah! All right, if you're ready to go, I'm ready to go. We're gonna be going nice to finish one unit, 500 bucks. It's gonna be seven and a half higher. Yeah! 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 That's all you got in this market? You need to go to dick school, my friend. You could take dick lessons from John Taffer of Bar Rescue. He's probably the biggest dick in American reality TV. Not only is his show a weak carbon copy of Kitchen Nightmares, who had an exemplary dick in Gordon Ramsay, he doesn't even know how to be a dick. All he knows is he has to be a dick, so he's just a dick all the time. How dare you pick up raw chicken? and then pick up cheese with your hand, pick up spices with your hand. Shame on you! Shut it down, nobody eats. He's even an asshole when he's doing commentary, talking to the camera, he can't even turn it on. If these people don't shape up, I'll fire every one of them. I can't contain myself. I had to go in right then and there and stop it. Billy's not a great employee, he's a lazy slob. Why are you yelling at me, John? Don't rope me into this, I'm just a guy on my couch. Yell at those people, they're getting paid. All these shows have created a culture where people now want to be dicks. Kids are looking up at the TV going, I hope I could be that big of a dick someday. I don't have to go to acting school. I don't have to train and learn an instrument. I just have to be a really good fucking asshole. I want to be an asshole like that guy. Fuck Gary Oldman, that guy has to do work. This guy's on everything and he's just a jerk off.